Wait, so you're on a you're in a uh, hotel room. Yeah. You're on the campaign trail. I'm on the campaign. We're live. Trail. We're live too, Jimmy. <laughs> I better be careful what I say then. Now you're froze. So hey, froze. oh wait, oh, oh gonna, go ahead. What, introduce us. Introduce us. Hey, hold on, I wasn't ready, damn. But I'm ready now. You told me I said what we should we... start. It's I know you did. Five my time. We're Where's Joe? Where's Joe? I don't know. Let's get on the get on the phone I'm with us. I'll you. introduce. It. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the self-diagnosed greatest reselling podcast in the world. It's the reseller leftovers. With right now, just Dan and the man, and I'm Jimmy Old School Flips. Dan is calling Joe right now to find out where the heck he's at. I'm in a hotel. All right, Joe, we're we're recording right now. You better hurry up. All right, bye. Joe just woke up. It sounds like Joe just woke. Up. <laughs> what the heck? I don't. Do you hear him? He didn't even like say yo. Usually, I get yo. I didn't even get a yo. What, what he said in here. I don't know. He's like, I'll be there in a minute. Like, I don't I, know. I he's gonna test me out for a second. I was actually scared. <laughs> yeah, usually it's like, oh, I'm about to get a wooter over at Wawa. <laughs> then I'm gonna go to the prick. <laughs> well, well, well. Look at this side of the show. Up. <laughs> Am I in? Yeah, you're in. You're Can here. you hear me? Who said I, that? I felt like I heard you twice. Say something again. Hello. Oh God. Yeah, he said okay. Doesn't sound like you're no printing echo. anything yet, so you, should, you got you better get the printer going. <laughs> there was like, they were, hey, there's Sonya. Look, it's hey, Sonya. Sonya's here. Hi, Sonya. Hi, Sonya. Hey, hi, Sonya. <laughs> She's <laughs> photo bomb in the video. Oh, you're gonna Joe, you're gonna be here the whole time. Joe, uh, Jimmy's out on the campaign trail. Where I thought that's my where yeah, you might be because yep. you're running late today. He's what? He's on the campaign trail. Uh, oh, here we go. Here we go. I'm in Colorado, so you can do the math. Is that a swing state? Not at all. Oh, it's not? Hmm. Nope. <laughs> not at all. What does that mean? It means it's not. It's it's one color solid. Are we allowed to? What color is it to be? I honestly don't know. I'm, I'm not, I'm not uh, a very political person. Yeah. I believe okay. it to be blue. You believe? Didn't you, how long you live there? 25 years? Yeah, it's a blue state. Okay. So, there you All go. Right. There you have it, folks. Let's hear it a, in the comments. You have a you have a black shirt on, right? Or is that blue? I can't. Yeah. Tell. I'm right. wearing a I'm wearing a gorillas. What is yeah, that? Good. You don't know What's the gorillas. gorillas? What is you don't gorilla? know the gorillas? Is that a band? They're they're like a yeah they're like a rap slash pop. Do you listen kinda, to rap slash pop music? Uh, yeah. Seriously? Jimmy, Jimmy's pop all the yeah. way, don't you think? I don't know. I never sure, really thought about it. I listen to I most know. music, though. Dan, uh -oh. Dan's all country. Wait. What happened there? Did I, I do that? I don't I'm know. A... How'd you kick out yourself out? <laughs> we got all mixed up. I listen Wait, to so most music, though. So like... I mean, I like, I, like, I like heavy metal. And I like rap, and I like. Sonia listens to the pop music, so I hear it a lot. So I hear, but I also like a lot of. Like Sonya's yeah, like. A she's a what? A Swifty. She she's a Swifty. I'm a Swifty. So you like Swift music? You're a Swift. For sure, I love I love I love me some Taylor Swift. Okay, I mean. And I Travis like... Kelsey, I'd go hang out with. They're my homies. All right. Do you listen to <laughs> Let's hear it in the comments, folks. Let's hear it in the comments. Heavy metal and uh, and pop music and everything. He didn't say country though. Look what you made me do, Dan. Look what you made me do. What I do? I don't know. That's just a Taylor Swift reference. Oh, I don't. I don't. I don't listen. To, I listen to Taylor Swift when she comes because she used to sing country music. Yeah. So I like. She she'll come on. I listen to uh, uh, Y two country, Y two K country. I don't know. It's like early two thousand country, and then that's uh, the country I like. She had a, or like her big. I think it might be her first big hit was is a Tim McGraw song. So that comes. Oh up yeah, when you see when you think Tim McGraw. Oh, it's a very good song. Yeah, I think my favorite song or something like that. Not yeah. not not Tug McGraw. No, not, not tug, tug. Not, tug. not the old Tug. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, what kind of music do you listen to? 
I listen to a little bit of everything. I'm a, I'm a sports radio guy, so whenever yeah. I'm in the car, it's all sports radio. That's how it was when I lived in Denver for the Broncos, but not anymore. Like, I don't want to hear about the Cleveland Browns or Ohio State Buckeyes. So I don't, in Ohio, I don't listen. Oh, okay. Yeah, but, I mean, there, there's days that I wish I wasn't sports radio, you know, especially <laughs> at their bad loss and all that. But uh, if if I'm in the car with my wife, it's usually country. Oh so. yeah, that's good. But, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I don't hate it, but it's definitely like fourth on my list. Yeah. Well, I'm I'm having uh, some computer problems here. I'm on Lauren's computer, and then I don't know, but. Any Apple guys out there know how to get rid of this? Oop. Oh boy! Oh. Our it's audio like trash can no dynamite. It's, it's a it's a file. It's on an Apple. It's on a MacBook, and it's a file with a question mark in the middle of it. I watched tons of videos about it, and I can't, still can't figure it out. So buy a Windows PC. <laughs> I'm just yeah. giving you ideas on how to get rid of it. That's all. I mean, I, I I have a few ideas how to get rid of this thing too. <laughs> have you seen Office Space? It's called a trash can. <laughs> a baseball bat and what? It, and play the song that one about being a gangster. Uh, so what have we been up to? What what are we up to, guys? I came in late. I apologize to all the listeners that you know. Yeah, you think I mean, anybody been... tuned out? You think anybody tuned out? Uh, because I wasn't yes. here in the first minute. For sure. Uh, we probably lost <laughs> more uh, listeners once you started, when you came in. Uh, <laughs> thanks, Dan. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Do we have any? Oh, go ahead. I was going to say, do we have any reselling stuff to talk about? Anybody what got any what reselling? we need to talk about? It's a reselling podcast. I know. It is a reselling podcast. It's not a Jimmy's in the Mountains of Colorado podcast. Listening to Taylor Swift. Yeah, J- Jimmy. Jimmy's Jimmy went so- went on a bunch of sourcing trips, so he decided to celebrate by going on vacation. Yeah, that's, that's, that's how we did that. Idea. It's been nice. It's been nice that's to kind of unplug and relax. Like, I'm surprised Joe's not at the beach or something. Oh, I got a good reselling topic. Son can help me with it too. I've been on away mode, and my sale. How many? Sale, how many? Since what day did we leave? Saturday morning. We left Saturday morning, so I put it on away mode Friday night. And what's today? Tuesday? Yeah. How many sales have we had since it was on away mode? She doesn't know how to check. She's trying to find them on her phone. 16. How, how many 16, one, six, 16 sales on away mode. Because I was on Corky Picker Chad's full-time flipper podcast, and they kind of talked about how their sales yeah. died yeah, when they while they were on. I did listen to that. And um, I'm doing decent, I, and I've had a couple big sales too. I don't know. I uh, with it. the last time I went away, I didn't put it on away mode, but the time before that, I did, and I didn't have. There was a difference in sales. Yeah, there's like, definitely a difference for yeah. sure. So, but it's not terrible. Like I'm, I'm happy with my away mode sales. Well, I was going to come in here. And talk, I was going to come in here and say that okay. eBay's broken. eBay sucks because I had from Saturday afternoon until Monday, I had four sales the whole weekend. That does suck. What happened, Dan? What'd you do? Shadow ban. Shadow ban. You think so? I yeah, don't know. Well, you, you, you can't talk crap about eBay all the time and expect them to. You know. I've never the first bad thing I've ever said about eBay. Uh, maybe <laughs> they listen, maybe they listen to your phone. Do I, what I don't ever say anything bad. I I went I went after last week. We talked about uh, I was saying how I just had a hard time doing anything, and I finally like got off uh, my backside and started working. And I did. I was doing 10, 10 listings every day. First, I did six days in a row, and then uh, I, I had a few sales on Saturday. But like I went Saturday afternoon, I went to the post office. So I like up until I walked out of the house, I like did my shipping. Um, and so I don't remember how many I had Saturday before like two o'clock in the afternoon, but from after two o'clock on Saturday until the weekend was four sales. N- like I think Sunday, uh, it was nine or 10 o'clock at night was my first sale on Sunday. 
of the four. Like I had three. Uh, I like got for. Are you listing a lot? You know, I gotta ask those questions. Like people are gonna, well, are you listing, Dan? Yeah, I just so, said. I'm not trying. I didn't mean to do it in that tone, but you know, people are gonna ask. No, that. I just, I just said that. I was listing all week. I was listing. I was listing the whole week. Uh, and then on Sunday, uh, I had a whatnot show. And okay, so I forget what day my air conditioner broke in my house. It's freaking. Oh no! It, and I like got through. I was working. Um, and I think it broke on Wednesday. It's Tuesday or Wednesday. It must be Wednesday because I was actually working because I was doing an uh, on Wednesday. I wanted to take enough pictures for Wednesday and Thursday or something. Maybe it was Friday. Whatever day it broke, I, I was right. gonna try to do twenty pictures. So I had two days worth of listings. And I felt like it started feeling hot in the house. I'm like, oh, I think the air conditioner, something's wrong with it. So I uh, I got through my 10 for the day, and I was just, like, done. And then it ended yeah. up, it was, it was broken. It was hot in the house. And uh, so Did you get every a fix day, yet? Huh? No. Did you get a fix yet? No. Hopefully oh, tonight. Man. Hopefully tonight. So every day I've struggled to get my 10 pictures because it's exhaust. It's been exhausting. Yeah. But so on Sunday – um. It, I, I wasn't, I didn't have any, I wasn't having anything ready to picture to list. I mean, I had stuff ready to picture, but I didn't picture it and I was doing a whatnot show. So I ended up, I wasn't selling anything. I'm like, well, I'm not going to list today. Like if I can't get a sale, I'm not going to list anything. And then now it's been, I didn't list Sunday or Monday and I'm not sure if I'm going to hmm. list today, to be honest. Like I, I started doing some drafts, but I need to take the pictures, but, and it's, it's the last two days. It's been nice outside. It's like in the, uh, like, low 70s so the house isn't too hot but it was getting up over 85 degrees 86 degrees yeah and, and then really i was tired i couldn't sleep my bed is is uh my my sheets are i use fleece sheets like i leave them on all year like i love fleece, fleece. wow like and, winter like fleece yeah yeah and i never because oh, i have yeah. the air on in I'm the summer fine. yes in the summer and hmm. i'm always fine but like without yeah. air conditioner that my my sheets kept on getting stuck to me and i was like i kept on like turning and then i have like the sheets stuck to me and i was and then oh the top of it. so on top of it like i'm like all right i'll just change like i'll change my clothes my freaking dryer broke so i couldn't even i haven't done laundry I, this is my literally my last shirt to wear and i got it the dryer's fixed now i'll tell you what happened to that like later you got to talk yeah I, st- I was sitting there just talking when we got to talk reselling, and then I'm instantly. I just picture you walking around with your sheets like static stuck to you, trying to fix so your mis- drive. So miserable. It was so miserable. <laughs> I, I, it was so miserable that I sat and I, I went on Amazon and I primed some new sheets. Did you get like some high thread print? Th- high. Th- did you buy any, or did you just look at them I, dreaming I them. about them? I bought the first pair. Well, the first ones that would actually match my like bedroom set. That would be here the next morning, and so I got them, and then it was it was they're awesome, but I didn't like the color; they're like a light gray. So I oh ended up bought another set, so they're like navy blue. Because so then Dodger has been sleeping at Dodger's basically moved out of my house now. He like <laughs> stayed like a couple nights at my mom's, and he like he forgets I'm like his dog, like he's my dog. So, so it's our fault. Ever since the one twenty seven, you lost Dodger. So that's what so that's what the 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 last few nights it wasn't when it wasn't like too bad with my fan on when it cooled down it almost felt it felt a little bit hotter than uh the 127 cell room like it was it's like so I think that got me a little bit ready for it but it was it was hot and then I did my whatnot show so right now my window's open so if someone's walking by they're gonna listen to me probably complaining or they're gonna wonder what I'm talking about <laughs> but I had a whatnot show on Sunday and it was a Disney Ray train. And I was so nervous. I, I didn't want my my windows to be open when I was hooting and hollering. So I closed my windows. And I, I thought I was gonna pass out during my show. I got so hot. I was <laughs> I was so hot. It was one final last woo. So I was gonna close my I was gonna close my window for this. And when I, right when I closed it and sat down, I, I started feeling the heat coming in here. Like I could feel it because this is like a small room. I just instantly it's felt like a like sauna. Like, it instantly started feeling in, but it's nice. It's nice outside today, but I don't, so I, I don't know if I'm going to list today, to be honest. Like I, I, I'm doing some drafts, but when we get done, they, it killed, it was, I was tired. So like when I didn't, I wasn't, I didn't get any sleep and then I wasn't selling. I'm like, I'm not listing. I don't, I don't, I'm, I don't know how you can improve your sales. Put your store on away mode. 
Nah. I well, oh, so so, but you know how many sales I had yesterday? So we're recording on Tuesday. You know how many I have on Seven. Monday? I have eight, eight since <laughs> since yesterday. Nice. I got a whole bag right here, and uh, I mean a whole. I got a whole bag that I got to ship that I haven't even shipped yet. Because then I've been up. I've been up since two o'clock this morning. Uh, I got up at two, and then I went back to bed, and then I got up at oh after eight o'clock today. I never sleep. I've been so tired. What, why did you wake up at two? Because the sheets were stuck. Now I just up, I'm up and down all night, but I woke up at two, and then I was kind of like, "Am I up now?" So I I was up and I was watching this new. I've been watching this new show called In the Dark. Uh, uh, it's new go. to me. It's on Netflix. It's some CW <laughs> show. It's it, it's about a blind girl who like she's wrapped up in like murders and drug dealings, <laughs> and it's horrible. <laughs> but then like an episode happens that I want to watch. I'm like, oh, that's pretty good. And then it now I'm, there's only four seasons of this show. And I'm on season three, and it is so. I have like two episodes left of season three. I think I saw and the previews for that. Yeah. The storyline is so stupid right now; it's like <laughs> unbelievable what's going on. I'm like, but I'm, I'm like, I'm this far in. I have like 20 hours. You're left. invested at this point, yeah. Yeah, I got to finish it now. So, you know, <laughs> like I almost was just gonna tell you guys, I, mean, I really can't do the podcast this week because because I gotta watch. I gotta watch this show. in the dark. <laughs> yeah, I gotta watch in the dark. It, it, all right, I see where we stand. I see in the dark podcast. I guess. Well, no, well, yeah, I, I, have, I, I have nothing to say here because Dan, I don't want to tell you how good my week was, but you know, you lost your dog to your mom's house. You lost your air conditioning. You lost your dryer. You had to buy sheets are sticking to crevices. I spent, I spent over fifty bucks on sheets. Oh, man, so your sales have been good, Jeff. No, they've been all right. They haven't been a lot, you know. It hasn't been a whole lot of sales, but I've been selling good, good items, you know, like high, high yeah. higher dollar items. So, oh, oh, is that a dig at me, Joe? Because I told you yesterday I had like a hundred and forty dollars cancellation sale. Ooh. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that—the cancellation uh -huh. sale that you had too. You, you didn't want to tell people about that. I, I just remembered it. I, you reminded me right now when you're like, "Oh, I've just sold high dollars." Because then yesterday I was—I think that was before I even really sold anything yesterday. Like it was all later in the night. Uh, at some point yesterday, I'm like, all right, I had, well, maybe I was just thinking I had a crappy weekend. But I was like, oh, okay, I'll take that hundred and forty dollar sale because, like, to be to be honest, when I, when I sell when I say like I have seven sales, it's probably one hundred and forty dollars, two hundred bucks. Like, I mean, I I don't sell like expensive <laughs> items. I sell like right. bread and butter clothing. <laughs> so I got one hundred forty. I'm like, oh, that makes it up. Like last week, what was, was it? Uh, it was a LL Bean um, ja jacket. I'll show you. I'll show a picture to the people that are watching on YouTube. Hey, wait! They have to subscribe. We have to say that worked last week. We had people subscribe. We're up over four hundred seven yeah. right now. We're up over four hundred. We should be celebrating. I think should we be celebrating four hundred subscribers? Oh, act like you've got a subscriber before, Jimmy. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you, everybody. Thank you for subscribing, everybody that subscribed. Thank you. Tell your friends to subscribe. If you're watching for the first time, subscribe. Even though Joe's here, you should still subscribe. Uh, it's an LL Bean <laughs> backpack jacket. Oh, that's a nice jacket. Yeah, I bought it. I bought it's it. Like it. A, I've had it like almost two years now. I see when I listed it. So you took an offer then? Uh, I sent an. I think it's. Oh, so I haven't listed. I think I've talked about it on here before, and I've dropped the price. Uh, it's listed on eBay for two nineteen. Uh, I got someone purchased it. I think I have it listed for 180 on Poshmark or maybe 140, but I ended up sending an offer, I think, or I don't know. Maybe I dropped the price yeah. on it. Uh, it sold on Poshmark and then the guy canceled. He said he, which I never understand. I know they can cancel on Poshmark for if you, maybe so, it's if you accept an offer or yeah, I must have sent an offer. I think it's if, if I'm not hundred percent sure. So I, I feel like if I am an ambassador, I should know these things, but. So does a cancellation count as your return of the week? No, oh wait. Oh, we didn't even get that far. So I, I just I, I wanted to see if we I was just seeing if we were going into that segment already, or let's talk about the cancellation more. Well, okay, yeah. we're, we're 20 minutes in and hit all of Dan's points. We're <laughs> yeah. I got started. Wait, no, 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 that's not fair. I'm, I'm ready. How, <laughs> oh no, no. What are all your points, Joe? I'm I I'm just waiting for I, you to get I'm done. the one that prepared. Are you prepared? Um, get, I am prepared. He's out, he's like out celebrating, he's out of town, he's in the mountains. Hey, I I'm not, I lost $110 yesterday, so I'm not celebrating too much. What are you, what are you gambling? Are you playing poker? Yeah, no, slot machines. 
I'm at a casino. Are you at a casino right now? Is that for the Yeah, this is the at? Monarch Hotel and Casino in Blackhawk, Colorado. And that's where the rally's at. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I'm, if you're in Chicago right now, he left. Oh, he's back. He left. He left. Funny, he left. funny you should say that because I'm pretty sure there's a rally going on here right now. Well, there's a there's a big rally in Chicago, so we're not 100 percent sure he's actually in Colorado, folks. Um, I, mean, I can show you the mountains. Right? You want to see the mountains right outside my window? A green screen. We don't believe you. I did. I did. I, I did see uh, Jimmy at the airport on his Instagram. So yeah, well, they have airports that come to Chicago too, Joe. True. True. Very true, Dan. Very true. You could be. A, you could be in a hotel room with a green screen right now. Pick up something behind you. Yeah, there, Joe. Joe's thing right here. Joe's sitting right here. We're both. We're here together at the convention. Oh, if you were. Oh my goodness. Wait, I gotta put you guys together up there. <laughs> I'm in my jumpy <laughs> room. Uh, no, no. So get, what was I saying? Oh, so I, the guy canceled. He said he bought it by accident. So I'm not 100 percent sure. I think if I send an offer, if someone accepts the offer, they have three hours to cancel it. So it, it, he canceled within like two minutes. He he, he canceled in enough time where what was his he reason? Bought, he bought by mistake. I don't think your I don't think your earphones work, Jimmy, because I keep saying, and then you ask me the exact question. That I just said. <laughs> Maybe it's going in the mail. It's gonna. Be, I'm joking, Jimmy. Don't get mad. No, I'm trying to think because no, I'm not mad. Okay. Um, Maybe there's I'm a joking. delay. I'm joking. It's a, it's a complete joke. <laughs> Did no, I'll, I'll admit this is different for me. So like, I'm probably not paying attention like I should be. Like, there's a whole lot going on around me and stuff, and I'm and then the, I can hear myself speak, and I don't like it. Like in my brain, oh. you know how when you plug your ears and you can hear it in your brain. Yeah, I mean, you must. Like, maybe, what if I take one out? Maybe I'll take one out. Is that better? And then I can go like this and use that microphone. Can you hear is, better? Is that really loud? Is that what does that do? That I don't hear it in my brain as much. Well, what so is that? Put it up your face again. What does that do? Is that how you talk? Is that louder? Is There's a microphone in this in there. I don't know. Is that louder? I don't know. I, Joe, is that louder. how it works? I have louder. no idea. I don't either. Well, hear, how do you guys hear me? Do you hear me through the phone? I hear you. I have this. This is what I talk. Can you hear me? Do I sound okay? Yeah. yeah. You sound, sound good there, Dan. This what about here? Do, you, do I sound good there? You sound lower. Wait. So, uh, so I'm, I'm just going to leave it like this so I'm not so... You know how that is. Like, you can hear yourself breathing really loud. You know, I know I breathe well, I loud already. breathing all the time. And, and then I can hear me talking I, inside well, my no, brain. Breathing is more of a wheeze. Mine's... <laughs> 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 oh, I, I forget. I forget. I, well, the Here, guy, so you can put this in and listen if you want. But I you can't talk you though. They'll hear you. Wait, can can you so ha- hear us? Can you keep talking. So how do you how do you how does somebody make? I never bought anything on Poshmark. Is it similar to like eBay where you have to like confirm your purchase or whatever? Or was this a? I don't know. I I only bought like two things. He just uh, bought it and then he instantly canceled it. Like he instantly canceled it. Uh, you you know sometimes people will have the same item listed and they think that someone accepted their offer because they don't read it right. You know what I mean? Oh yeah, I had a couple of them on eBay. If they'll send a message right away, oh I accept it. Your yeah, offer, I thought it was thinking somebody sent them the offer. You know? Yeah, that's a very good possibility. I've had that happen a couple times too. So that's what I was thinking. Maybe if they canceled right away like that, either that or they're just like, oh, this is the guy from that podcast. I don't want to buy from him. Yeah. One of the I two. Doubt, I doubt he's thinking that. <laughs> if you're oh, watching, no, that was what that was. I sold it for 180 dollars. He it was 144 with my earnings. I must have just have it oh. listed for. I must just have it listed for. I, I have it listed so, for 180 dollars. I bought so it. It wasn't even on an offer. Oh my gosh. Huh? That so it wasn't. Did they pay and everything? Oh, yeah. so they paid and everything, and then they yeah. canceled. Yeah. That's still, yeah. That just, hey, we gotta, so do, that the, we gotta do the test because I don't know if I'm gonna get angry because you guys keep cutting me off. When I say one, you say two. Like, count one, two, three. Oh wait, well, we're you got to do it one, one at a time. <laughs> one, two, two, three. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's like two. I hate talking over each other too much. There's, there's you guys' proof that Dan's the one that gets mad at me. I don't get mad at him. 
What? <laughs> Don't try to bring me into this. Like, I'm just saying. I keep talking, and then I'm trying to. I'm talking. And I think. I think there's a little bit of delay. I there think has to be a delay because I'm not interrupting you on purpose. Like right, I just no, did, I'm didn't just, I? I'm just trying to wait to talk. Yeah. Everybody, let's do like over. <laughs> say you over when you're done talking. At the same time, it's. <laughs> you didn't say over. You're supposed to say over. I don't know. What Roger. You're you were talking, and then all of a sudden started laughing. It was weird. Maybe Sorry. it's my internet. Yeah, maybe I'm. I, I'm on the Wi-Fi, but it might not be the greatest. Over. Under. <laughs> I don't know what to say. Marco. <laughs> Hold up. I hear the delay in my ear. There is a delay. Wow. So what do we do now? Uh, I just I say battle, battle through it, and then. Make damn mad. I'm not. Don't don't put this on me. So, so, so what other uh, uh, things are going on reselling related for you, Dan? Well, I don't know what's going on. Oh, with you. <laughs> I don't get it. I don't understand what you're doing. It, when you're done talking, you have to say over. Apparently. Oh, okay, I get it. Like now. a micro, like a like a trucker. Yeah, I didn't over. know what you were doing. I didn't understand that part. <laughs> you were never. I thought you had the truck driver app over. Under, I keep saying under. <laughs> Did you Whatever. delete your truck? Your trucker app? I I don't have it. In, I never. I I downloaded it, and then when I went on my trip, I forgot to like sign up for the thirty day trial. I have to. I signed up for a YouTube premium trial. And I have to cancel that before I. But now I'm 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 I like it so much that I want to keep it. But it's like twenty three dollars a month. I'm not paying that. Just to, Does that uh, mean no commercials? I don't see there. Yeah, yeah. There's no, no ads. Yeah, instead of having to hit skip, 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 skip constantly, which is like I was watching, uh, listening to a Joe Rogan podcast or something. It was just like. People are like, oh, you know, it saves like five or six dollars. They, it's like people are like, oh, it's a no big deal, and it's like it's not that hard to just hit skip. But I'm like, yeah, you're right. It's not. I should just. I shouldn't. I shouldn't. Because I kept on wanting to spend the money for it, but I did. I signed up for the free trial for premium, so I could download stuff for my trip. Uh, oh yeah. I wanted to download. I downloaded podcasts and videos and stuff, so I could watch it on my on my iPad in my room, and and so I was. I had plenty of stuff to do. Or so. How much is that going to cost if you if you keep it? <laughs> it's like twenty three dollars, Joe. You heard I just said it too. He's not even listening. You did? did I you did. You it? keep asking me the exact. You'll, I'll say what it was, and then you'll ask. Oh me my god! It's <laughs> fun. It's fun That's for the kids. What, All right, um, Sonya's going to take my spot as the co-host. She can hear what you're saying. I this, um. This might be the absolute worst episode we've ever put together. <laughs> It's all right. It's coming off. It's coming off three or four weeks of good episodes. So, all right. I hope you can't so. hit a home run every week, Dan. I'm what? just gonna stop what? asking questions. Like I'm saying something bad. I'm just saying. What? Um, I, I have I have YouTube TV, and I thought YouTube TV was, but it's completely different than YouTube like Premium and all that. Yeah, I, just, I, I have just YouTube TV. Also. Yeah, well, I have Hulu, Joe. What does that have to do with anything? Well, I got rid of Hulu. I got rid of Hulu. <laughs> Well, I got rid of cable first, and then I thought I was going to. Uh, I got rid of cable in like 2013. Where you been? 2013. I don't I think did. I had cable in 2013. I didn't have cable forever. You were like doing the send out for the Netflix when they had when you would send out for the DVD di the actual discs, and they would for mail Netflix it back to you. Used to do that. We did Redbox for a while. That was oh well, yeah, Redbox. Put me out of job when I was working at Blockbuster. <laughs> I did that. I did that. I was working at Blockbuster, and we didn't get. I worked for a franchise, so it wasn't like the the regular like corporation. So it was like a it was a family ran business. Yeah. And I don't know if anyone like movies were expensive. Like VHS tapes, like if you purchased them from like a distributor, like back when videos came out, you couldn't even buy like a video. That's how rentals places started. Is like a VHS tape. If someone lost something and they have to like purchase it, they'd be like. Some people, I think, would, like, they really want to keep the movie, so, like, oh, how much does it cost? When you tell them how much it costs, they're like, they instantly brought it back. But if you lost, <laughs> if you on a vacation, you lost the movie. Some movies were out of print and stuff. They were over $100 for, 
to, wow. to buy. Like so that's how rentals started. And now you can find it on eBay for three bucks. Yes. Mm-hmm. But, and so like when you worked at the when I worked for the video store, that's how much they cost for from like a distributor. They they would yeah. if a movie came out, it depended on the, the what um uh production or whatever you call it, like the studio, how much whatever studio it was. Man. Some movies were like a hundred dollars to buy. So for like a small family, that's why most most people when they're growing up, I mean, I don't know. I, if you went to like a mom and pop video store, what? Why are you laughing at me? I was just gonna I was gonna do a joke and say, so how much did they have to pay for those VHS? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, it was, was, it was a joke. Good, man. I was on a good time. Give out some good information there. You guys make fun. Keep of going. Me. No, I, was, I was trying to hold it in. I'm sorry. I lost my spot. Oh, it was, <laughs> but if you had like a mom and pop shop, if it was a really good movie, it might be a hundred dollars to buy. So people like that mom and pop shop would only have like one or two copies because it's so. That's expensive. what I was gonna say. Because when you went to the big store, they had like thirty five copies of one movie. That's a lot of money. Yeah, and then so so anyway, like people would pay that, and uh, and so we didn't have everything. And then when DVD started. Um, DVDs right off the bat, uh, I think they were like twenty five or thirty dollars, like new, like just a regular movie when they came out. So we didn't. It was the same thing. It was new, so we'd only have like one or two copies of a DVD. Uh, so I and we didn't get all the movies. We would get like the big title of the week. So like, if you wanted to see some random movie, I ended up signing up for Netflix so I could get the DVDs while while uh, I was working at Blockbuster. <laughs> So, so is that is that how rental business they, like if it came out of the movie theater there was a period that it it went to a rental before you could actually buy the video right. yeah they it was like usually like from the theater it was like do you remember like I mean, it was like six months but it was in the theater you had to go see it in the theater and yeah. then like six months later it would come and then sometimes like, I think I felt like a lot of people would have them come out uh, you know maybe before like the holidays so like there was like a big rush of stuff and then it would come out and then uh, there was you. There was so much time. To pay. It, 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 every movie was different, but you'd have to movies would you would previously. If you had twenty copies of a movie, they would after a few months they would start selling those previously viewed copies, and people would buy those. But then later on, they would come out. They would be like distributed, like mass produced or whatever. Like if that makes any sense, I don't know. I didn't I hear any of that because my Bluetooth went out. <laughs> oh yeah, you don't have Bluetooth. Yeah. It's you, back. Um, I don't know why it's just automatically shut off. That was weird. I think Sony did some. She didn't want to tell When me. you sell your, when Blockbuster sold the movies, did they re re shrink wrap them and all that? And see yes, it was on um, when I worked when I first started. Every every Sunday night we have there's a shrink wrap machine. Every Sunday night we would really there wasn't re shrink wrap, but they're previously viewed, and you would shrink you would shrink wrap them. That's how they kept it. And then eventually they got rid of like when they started. Um, making I don't know if they did it in your area, but our area there started being more and more blockbusters came. They start our franchise started growing, and they made smaller stores. Like the stores used to be huge, and then they made them in like shopping malls. They'd be smaller. They they like hmm. didn't have. I mean, it was a big production to do like the movies. You have bit. I mean, shrink wrap them. After that, they came out with like little stickers and stuff like that to make it so you keep the VHS tape in there. So sometimes when I see, when I see, I get nervous when I see like someone selling a sealed copy of something and when nope. he's like, oh, it's brand new, but I'm, I'm looking for stuff that, I mean, it might be recent. I mean, and the person that's yep. selling it might not know because I, I mean, it was, but literally every Sunday night there was just, that's what we sat there and did was shrink wrap our movies. I, th- I, th- I thought about that a lot too, because when I worked in the printing industry, we used to, sh- after we would print stuff, it would get shrink wrapped and we had the shrink wrap machine too. Yeah. It's like, it would not be that hard. To get one of these machines and just re shrink wrap someone calling it. Let's on those tapes and stuff. You, the the studios have like their like Paramount or MGM, but I right. don't. I mean, I don't remember all those studios and stuff. Like I, I'm assuming most of them would have. It's the same thing as like on a uh, like sports cards and stuff or anything in shrink wrap. Yeah. They have a, like yeah. it wasn't like it was clear. Ours was clear, but I mean, I can't say I can't say for some other block blockbuster in Colorado would be different. Maybe possibly right. Yeah. But like, think if you found something from like the eighties that they didn't take all those precautions. It used to just be just sink wrapped, shrink wrapped. Well, yeah. you could buy that now used, and then re shrink wrap it, and then it would look like it was brand new, right? Yeah, I, I mean, I, there's probably yeah. If you don't, if you're not like, I mean, I'm sure there's those all those little stickers. They have like those little the tab yeah. things on there. 
I mean, I, that's not my, I mean, I'm not an expert in that. I don't know why I'm telling you that. Like, no, it's sure good I, information I because that. people. Oh, go ahead. No, it's good information because as resellers, we're looking for new sealed all the time. I, I do you got to take precaution. For some people. Uh, if you, my dryer broke this last weekend. It, it made it, I was doing a load of towels and it sounded like there was rocks inside of the dryer. Like, it's not funny. I've been wearing, I've been sweating and nonstop wearing no, I have no clothes to wear. You got to hang them in. The You're just walking around with nothing on except for your sheets that are stuck to you. That's not a bad way to go. Hey, but they, uh, um, so it broke on, I think, Thursday. So Friday, uh, called around to get someone to come out. And because it's Friday, uh, the first person we could come was yesterday, Monday. And they came on, on top of it. I, I need to get, I, I may, I might quit reselling and go do this job. These guys, you're gonna go repair dryers, own, repair my own dryer repair company. <laughs> they charge Good luck with that. <laughs> just to, just to step in the house, it's two hundred dollars to come look at it. Yeah. Damn, you... two hundred dollars, and he has a drill. So I'll, I'll need a drill. So if you guys sell drills, I'll need one of those. You're gonna need a you're gonna need one of those little claws too, like the extendable claws too, because oh, I, I actually used to do stuff like that, and it's not a lot of the dryers. It's not easy to hook up. The vent on the back. I'll just walk around for this. I'm just gonna go oh, around man. looking for this job. If it's anything bigger than this, I'm gonna be like, I don't know what's wrong with this thing. You better call someone else. Give me my two hundred dollars. So what was so it was an easy fix then? Yeah, the guy was here for 15 minutes and made two hundred dollars. When he opened oh. up, he opened up the top of it, and uh, so if you sell or you wear a hoodie like on the drawstring. The end, the, the bottom of it, or the the tip of the drawstring, you know, some of them yeah. have some kind of, uh, maybe like a metal thing that's attached to it or something, and they start to come loose. Well, that came loose and it fell off, and then it flew inside, like it, <laughs> in the dryer, but it's not; it's on the outside inside of the dryer, so it's tumbling around in the inside outside of the dryer. So there's no, there was, you can't see it, so it sounds like. Like the belt Rocks. broke or something. <laughs> and so he, he grabbed that and he's like, oh, this is it. And it's just a little thing. <laughs> this, is, this is your problem right here. Did, did he test it and all that? Did he run yeah. it? Yeah, and it yeah. sounded perfectly fine. Oh. So 200 bucks. That sucks. But my, bro my brother and I, my my brother lives with me. Or I live with him. We, we're roommates. So we split it 50-50. So that cost me $100. Well, whose hoodie was it though? Huh? Whose hoodie was it? It's not mine, and I looked through all my. Uh, I looked through everything I listed recently. <laughs> Your brother and, took you for a ride. Then he's like, "You're paying for I, half of this, even though it's my hoodie." <laughs> Sorry, yeah, your brother it, listening. I don't know if it's hit. I don't know if it was his or mine. I, oh, I, I didn't oh. see it. With my, but Who's I don't know how long. My other thing is is maybe it was in there for a long time, and then it came loose. Oh. That's true. But anyway, just so you guys, I mean, maybe you, I mean. That's some good information, you guys. Yeah, it's, it's uh, great information. We should all start dryer fixing businesses, but no, only remove hoodie. Or you oh, wear sorry. a hoodie, check that stuff. I misunderstood the, the the message. You're not listening to the message. I, 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 didn't, I didn't misunderstand. You, you have to kind of know what you're doing, though, Dan. What are you talking about? Well, if, you, if you're going into the dryer repair business. Yeah, watch a couple of YouTube videos about it. Uh, How hard could it be? <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Have you ever Is replaced it... a belt on a dryer? No, we're not going to talk no. about it. Hey, wait, wait, no. Joe, what's your comment of the week? My comment of the week? Yeah, see if you're prepared. I'm uh, prepared. I... I'll tell you what my comment of the week is. Is you got uh, Graham's core or Pop's Corey and uh, Dollar Bills, y'all. They both think no bake cookies are amazing. And they basically said they hate you. Okay. <laughs> I, I I I apologize if I offended anybody about the no bake cookies. I was very disappointed at that sale to see no bake cook. My options were no bake cookies or cookies that looked 
like they were homemade, but when I tasted them, they were definitely from like the packs in Walmart. You know what I mean? Right. So I don't we like either one of them. No bake cookies. I don't like either one of them. Jimmy loves no bake cookies, especially because he's sitting in a room with Sonia. He loves <laughs> Sonia them. makes the best no bake cookies. That's what everybody tells me. And um, <laughs> uh, my other comment, it was from Rod Picking and Punching. He asked us to please uh, stop talking about returns of the week because he didn't get returns until he started listening to this stupid podcast. <laughs> he didn't say stupid. I, I added that part. <laughs> you add, That's your take on the podcast. Gotcha. <laughs> So no more returns of the week, man? I don't know. Need, you guys yeah. need – we need some segments. We need to – you have to have some kind of segments to just make sure that we're talking something about reselling, not just talking about, like, a VHS tape. And Dro a broken tape. dryers and – Dryers or and whatever, whatever sticking else. sticking to crevices. <laughs> I don't know what you just said. He said sheets sticking to you. Yeah. In certain places. All three of those things are stuff that I was talking about, too. So this is a little touchy subject for me because I'm adamant we have to talk about reselling, but in the same sense, everything that we've talked about has been stupid stuff that I've been talking about. You're right. You're right. I, I haven't been in the reseller mode because I've been on, like you said, I'm celebrating all my traveling by going by traveling again on vacation. By traveling more. But I mean, I think my topic about away mode was decent. Like, So what's the important. title of the podcast going to be? That's gonna be the title. Away mode was pretty. I easy. think we should. We need. I mean, we it's need not the like worst. Easy, we need an easy title for every podcast. An easy title. Hmm. You know what I'm know. saying? Like, it's like it's like a cut and paste one for every week. Just the I same just, title. I was on every Roman week? live on Saturday. Roman, uh, it goes by. Oh, you guys were having. What I you keep saying stuff and I can't hear you. What did you That's say? Saying. I didn't say anything. He was gonna. He was gonna say, "Was it the political podcast?" Yeah. Oh no, that's you All guys. Right. I don't do political stuff. Whatever. Yeah. So how? No, how tell was, us about I, Romans. Live. I, I was in and out of that, you know, throughout the night. We gotta talk about something. We can talk about something else. I have a uh, super gigantic garage sale that I've saved that starts next. You know, all last week, a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, there was garage sales every day in my area last week. Are you serious? Uh -huh. And I did not attend did any of them. I did not any of them. None of them. I thought you were excited for your sales. I was, but I have so much stuff to list that uh, I just mm -hmm. don't want to go. And now I'm, you know, I may, I just told you I sold four things last weekend and yeah, that sucks. I just spent $150 on Sheets and uh and the dryer being fixed, and then and I don't know how much forty four dollars on a cancellation. Start my new dryer business that I got going on. <laughs> <laughs> what are you gonna name your dryer business? Dan the dryer man. Uh, Dryers in demand. Dry dryer dry by dry by dry, dry by, by Dan dry by Dan dry by Dan dry by Dan. Dry Okay. Does that work? Uh, I don't know if that works. We fix hoodie pieces only. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what it's going to be called. It's probably not going to happen. Because if uh, I have yeah, to, I don't, I don't recommend it, Dan. I don't recommend it. If I have to get down on my hands and knees to get find something to find a dryer, I'm not getting back up. So then I'm going to have to move in with these people, and I'm not going to want to live there. <laughs> <laughs> the dryer man me. <laughs> the dryer is broken. Mom, who's look. this? It's the dryer. It's it's the dryer repair man. <laughs> he, he hasn't moved for a couple hours. We got <laughs> he keeps just saying, Can you bring me a so can you bring me a pop? <laughs> yeah, I have a pop. So I when I couldn't when I woke up last night and then I finally I finally went back to sleep. I was I started sleeping on my back, so of course I woke up with a headache. My head was pounding, so now I'm drinking a oh, Coca-Cola. What are you is drinking that on there? Is that huh? C4? I don't know. I feel like he does. It's a, you know, my doctor prescribed it to me. Your head what, starts pops? hurting. Have a Coke. Probably not because I'm what probably kind of what kind of doctor are you going to? <laughs> to doctor? Well, so so I'm not sure if it's a real doctor because <laughs> oh, my head hurts probably because I'm dehydrated. And the, the <laughs> cure for that is probably not sugar carbonated water. 
I probably need to drink regular water. <laughs> Have a cookie and a Coke. <laughs> what kind of doctor are you going to? Was, was, it, was this really a doctor? Or was it no, I feel like it was your mom. I think you asked your mom what she should do. And she's like, Have a Coke. My mom would not tell me to drink a pop. <laughs> she would never tell me to do that. <laughs> That's Whatever. great. What's the option? So, why are you, you, you guys are being mean to me today? Self prescribed. I'm not trying to be funny. Like, you said you went to, I mean, that's pretty funny. When you said you went to the doctor and they said, I mean, for upset stomach, I've heard have a have a Coke or a Sprite. Yeah, someone told me that years ago. So I always use it whenever I don't feel well. I always use a Coke as, to be for real though. Someone told me a long time ago, have a Coke if you're not feeling well. Uh, for a stomach ache. So anytime I don't feel well, in my head, have a Coke. And you'll feel better. Mm-hmm. I get it. Sometimes it helps. Sometimes whatever. I don't know. I think you should. When you ha- whenever I have a headache, though, I do drink water. I, I try to. I have drink a lot here. of water because I needed some. I wanted some caffeine because uh, my day's all messed up now because I, I didn't have. I didn't wake up in time to. I didn't have coffee this morning. That would. Pro- I don't know. That probably wouldn't help either. All these things, everything I'm describing dehydrates you. So, If you're waking up with a headache because you slept on your back because of your self-diagnosed sleep apnea, what yeah. you need to do is you need to come up with some breathing exercises. Well, when I, was you thinking about getting, well, not if, I was thinking about getting one of those like maternity pillows and sleeping on that. So, you know, the ones that like the body <laughs> pillows. <laughs> Last week I used my... Oh, my windows you can are have a windows. sex pillow and a maternity pillow. You know what I'm saying? Those big maternity pillows that the, they they lay and they hug them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, a, yeah, a, yeah. A body uh, pillow. I think I think that would help. So I make sure I have a pillow that's supposed to help me sleep on my side, but that doesn't always work. Interesting. <laughs> me say that. The maternity. Pillow. <laughs> oh. Don't don't put that thing in the dryer though. Do not put that thing in the dryer. <laughs> it'll sound like a it sound like it has a dang tire inside that dryer if you put that. <laughs> oh shoot! Yeah, Dan, we're we're learning a lot about your sleeping habits and I have bad sleeping habits. It's not good. Yeah, I'm not the best. I have I don't I I have to take ibuprofen. I got in trouble because I take ibuprofen every night when I sleep, and apparently that's not Are good not for you. Supposed to? I mean, ibuprofen's not the best for you, and I'm I probably taking like, too much. I take like. Nine or ten ibuprofen a day for the last like seven years. Is I mean, I get it. Is that it's not, not good the best for you? for you? I mean, if you're taking it with a Coke, you should be all right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you, you, you'll, be, you'll be fine if you take it with a Coke. I mean, I take I take a thousand. I take five pills at bedtime so I can sleep good. I, I'm look, basically have, on the edge of OD. <laughs> okay, five, ibuprofen five, right here. I have bottles of ibuprofen all over the house. Five ibuprofen at night? Yeah. 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 It helps me sleep. Maybe it's because I'm on the death and that's why I'm sleeping well. <laughs> I don't know. Does that help you sleep? I have, a lot of, I have a lot of aches and pains from being a mechanic, all right? I have a lot of them. And then I'm also big, so that those pains are just exaggerated. Uh, my. So, yeah. So I'm, I'm gonna try to cut back though. I'm gonna try to I'm gonna cut it back to. I don't take it every night, but like I'll go like four nights in a row of not sleeping good, and I know it's because I'm hurting. And so then I'll the one night I want to sleep really good, so I'll do that, and I sleep like a baby that night. Mm. So there's that. So Jimmy, I probably, you mean, I probably stop breathing most. Are you gonna list? Why I'm afraid to list. list. I'm afraid to list. Because I, all these paranoid people got me worried that if and it happened to Dan, not just paranoid people, it happened. I saw it happen to Dan, where he listed someone while he was on the road, and then it didn't do the away mode or the, the handling time or whatever. And so then he was like, "I gotta ship it today," and I'm on the road. So like, I'm afraid. So are you doing leg exercises? Yeah, like in the video? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what is happening over there? Let's <laughs> just riding a bike over your bike back there. <laughs> Everybody watch if you're if you're listening you can't you listen on your favorite audio you can't see that Sonia's feet are just like going like this in the background. <laughs> yeah, so I'm afraid to list because I'm afraid it's going to have to ship right away, and I'm I like I don't want to deal with all that. Even though I have a concierge, 
I don't want to deal with all that. Yeah, Kyle Smith should be able to just take off your. You can't ship stuff on time. Yeah, I, I've I've been down that road with them, and they always they always tell me every time like they won't do anything unless I lose top rated, which I guess at least they'll fix it if I were to lose top rated. But I've had like my numbers get to where they say I'm going to lose top rated, and then that's when they'll look into it and try to fix it. But until yeah. then, they like we're not going to worry about it because you haven't lost top rated. The two, the two, because I was, that's what you told me when I was complaining about the two late shipments I had. And then yep. I've tried chatting with people on eBay about that. And then I just gave up because I went yep. to my defects and it was, it, it wasn't even close to the percentages you have to do to be late yep. shipment. And those are my first late shipments ever, like since All I've been right. doing this. Cause I'm never, I mean, I don't ever go anywhere. So I'm trying not to, I'm more irritated with my feedback. My feedback, it's it's um because I have those two negatives that I got in June. I got the two negatives in June and July. So like uh -huh. my I don't really worry about I mean those are annoying, but I never worry about someone giving me positive feedback. Uh if I just don't hear from them, I'm, I'm just I mean that's what whatever. So like my yeah. feedback went from like a ninety nine point like eight to ninety nine point seven. And then today it dropped to ninety nine point six because the the old feedback are falling off. And yeah. people aren't leaving me feedback, so my feedback keeps dropping. So I'm thinking about I, I, I'm thinking I was thinking about doing this last week too. Is uh, in your store you have different um, options, and I did this a long time ago. I I send a coupon, and I was gonna send a coupon to people who bought stuff for me for the last year, yeah. and then like the I did it for Christmas one year, and I just I did like a update. I just wrote this stupid thing in there about like updating me on my year like not too personable but like kind of i was i was just being stupid but i was thinking about just like writing a thing like hey i appreciate you buying something for me for this year you know like yeah. I, like here's a 15 percent coupon since you bought something or maybe 20 that's a good idea that's a really good idea man i was thinking about doing that more often because i mean i get i i follow a lot of people's stores and uh i'll get those from people from time to time for coupons and then uh yeah I, but I was like, oh, I should do that. Like, trying to get people, try to get repeat customer buyers. appreciation. Yeah, like go. people want. Stuff like name that. it the customer appreciation coupon. Dan, you waited a great 52 idea. Fifty-two minutes to tell us that, Dan. That was a great huh? idea. You waited fifty-two minutes to tell us that. <laughs> well, because you guys been making fun of me and picking on me for fifty-one minutes. Oh, we love you. See, you call me. Uh oh, there goes Joe's dogs. Now you done big, and uh, you pissed off the dogs. You, you accused them you know, of picking on you. Idea now. For that too was to. Uh, well, I mean, I don't know if it's another. I had. I don't remember if I talked about it. I had a person who opened up a item not received because it was missing, and it was going to like North Carolina, and it was like during the hurricane stuff. So I wasn't really worried. I, I just thought it was. It was going to Georgia. That's where I was going. Yeah, yeah. So I wasn't worried. It was. It was just late, but I. They, I shipped it on like the July 25th and it was, you know, the second week of August and they hadn't received it like, uh, you know, yep. and uh, so I opened up a missing mail item on the post office and they instantly found it and it got delivered and everything. And the guy, you know, he, he had said he wanted his money back when, on the thing, but he's never done anything since that. But that I felt like that, that like put it, I think it's how this idea came in my head. Uh, I was going to make a coupon for people who have something something like that where it shows up late or and sending yeah. them a coupon too, like just have one Dang. that's a private just because like I, I feel bad, I don't, but I didn't do anything. I shipped it on time, but the guy had like a yeah. bad experience. And so sending him a coupon to maybe have him come back and buy something for me again. And then he has no issues. And then, you know, he might not buy my from my store again after that. But, you know, like maybe me hope maybe he'll buy from from one of you guys or, you know, another eBay. Mm -hmm. store. So I was thinking about doing stuff like that, because you know I don't know. You're so you're so good at customer service and customer appreciation. Sorry, right? Well, I come on here and I complain. I I feel like I I don't know if you're messing with me. I no, I, I'm being serious. That's a I, I I haven't done a lot of coupons. I think uh, I haven't either. Ken over at the reseller times. clickbait gave me the idea, and I tried it, and I didn't love it. I of course. Oh well, I mean, I think well, I was I was on. Uh, well, I found. I was on your store this weekend, Jimmy, where by accident I was copying. I bought that stuff. Of course, for you. by accident. We're 50, oh, yeah, yeah. Five, we're 55 minutes. We missed Sonia. We're in trouble. We we didn't take down some hats that Dan bought on 
shopcommons. Yeah, yeah, you're 55 minutes in. You never, you haven't plugged your shop's comments. Yeah, I mean, there were there's a there's a there's some writing in the contract that we're a dispute over right now. So I can't. Oh, seriously? <laughs> no, I'm just, I'm just <laughs> we're 55 minutes in. We got the title. Jimmy calls no, out. No, because my actually. Commons. Yeah, my oh, my store's cool. on vacation mode over there, and, and on vacation mode, your your listings are hidden on Shop Commons, so I haven't sold anything on there because. How long are you gone for? I'll be back Wednesday. So like tomorrow, like, Wednesday. Tomorrow, yeah. Or a week? Like tomorrow, I'll out? be flying back tomorrow later in the day. Like when this comes out, you're flying back. The, uh, we're we're flying back at night, so tomorrow night. Okay. Well, when you say Wednesday, it makes me think like next Wednesday. No, no, I'm, I'm tomorrow. I, I I forgot today's Tuesday. I said that so earlier. You, today's so Tuesday. Was it worth that? That's a good. Was it worth putting your store on away mode? I mean, I know you did good sales, but I I think if I was only leave because you left Saturday, so you the first thing that you have to ship out, like if you have, what do you have one day handling? Yeah, I usually yeah. do one day handling. Yep. So. I mean, it's not going to be terrible. I mean, right now we're at just over five items a day, which is not the normal for me, but it's also not terrible for me. Like, That's I, what you're telling us. I'm very happy. Yeah, I mean, I'm used. To, there's days I hit, I ship nine, twelve. Yeah. What? I mean, five is a day that. If I ship five in a day, that's like, okay, that's kind of a good, decent day. But, you know, I definitely have nine and 12 item days, especially I'm doing this um, with as long, much man. as I've been listing. I got to figure yeah. out how to get my stuff together. Yeah, so I mean, it's worth it. I mean, again, I'm making money while I'm here. I've had a couple. I've definitely had sales that are in that ninety dollars and seventy dollars, and so like that definitely. I sold a video game for seventy five, a pair of boots for seventy, so that you know, it's been it's been good. Mm. Well, uh, oh, I want to talk about that negative feedback stuff you're talking about because I had a negative feedback that I was able to get removed. I, I think I told you guys about it. Um, yeah, the person said they never received the item but it showed as delivered and then they they left me negative feedback and i so like the thing i want to say is like i did i do this wrong i messaged them like hey it shows as delivered uh the best action you can take is to go to your local post office and try to have them talk to the carrier that delivered it to help you locate it because it well, shows you- delivered there's not much i can do from here and they well, just ignored that message and left me negative feedback about it they think you're supposed to do something that you're supposed yeah. to go call their post office, and yeah, that it's not, if 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 I order something, uh, I order enough stuff that I realize that it's not the seller's problem once it's like shipped. Like it's on. Yeah. Uh, I feel bad if I, I've never had a moment where or an item that's I bought and it says it's been delivered and it's not here. I well, it's at my neighbor's. I go check with my neighbor, and that's where it's at. I've never well, that not was- had that, so I don't know what would happen then. I guess I would just kind of be out of the item. I mean, I've had, so, I had a question that I bought that I've got and it's been broken or it's not been what I thought it was supposed to be. And right. I just eat it and just don't do anything. I right returned there. a hat that was a youth. It was a youth size hat and I had to return it. Was, so I did do a return, but I've never, that's the only time I've ever done a return or anything like that. Yeah. But I, my, had, I want I a question. A, my question. Oh, sorry, Joe. Go ahead. No, I, I had a, uh, and a package that I ordered and it showed delivered, but wasn't to me. And all literally all I had to do is I went to my post office and they were able to track on GPS where it was scanned at. And it was right. two blocks. It was two blocks over. So the lady at the post office said that she would call the mail carrier to go get it. I said, yep. I'm on my way home. I, I said, I'm on my way home. I'll stop by to see if, see if I get it. And sure enough, it was, it was delivered to the right address, but like two blocks over, like, uh, you yeah. know, so, but they're able That's to, what I'm saying. You got to contact your to, local post office for yeah. real help. Like yeah, they're able to, they're able to see exactly GP, like with their scanner, where it was with a GPS, where it was scanned. And she knew exactly what house it was at. And so. the only other question I have is should, and I, I just don't know. If I shouldn't say this to them because it's bad, eBay would look at it as I think bad. If I said, would have said to them, well, what you can do is open the item not received case on eBay, and then eBay will refund you. <laughs> like they will, right? Like e- because I'll put the tracking in, it'll show delivered, and then I, I think eBay refunds them, right? Like if they if uh, they say they never got the item, do they? But I didn't want to do that. Like I didn't want to give them. I didn't want to. 
throw eBay under the bus or whatever. So I didn't well, tell I them that. Should I have told them that? I don't know if they get, I don't know if they give them their money back, but when someone says oh, okay. I didn't, I didn't get this and it says it's delivered, I'm like, well, open a case. Because I, I mean, yeah. how are you supposed to close? You can't close I it. I guess I should have done that. I guess I should have done that. Because that'll automatically get closed. Uh, well, they used to automatically close it. And I've had a few of these now where they don't automatically close it. It keeps telling me I need to respond by this date. And that's how I. Yeah. Know, the one a few a few episodes back, I was talking. It was those. They were out of out of the Crocs that I sent to Germany. They ended up showing up. But I had already like taken care of it. And I. Yeah. Just, I, I, uh, what do you call it? Yeah, I, I refunded them it. a lot and then it oh. got delivered, but it yeah. said I had to respond by this certain time. So, but I had one last week that was last week or the week before. And, uh, I just, I put that I re it's delivered. I put my tracking in there and then it expired. And then they just, uh, they closed the case on my behalf. So, yeah, I, that was the only time that it, something like that has happened to me but i've had plenty of them where i'm the seller and you know depending on how they come you know the, their first message to me is how much i go into trying to help them you know what i mean usually you know i'll just say open up a return or open up a uh not received case on ebay and we'll take it from there i sold, I sold something else while we're talking here anything good joe i sold Close. I sold two. Uh, uh, can you guys hear me? <laughs> a lot. A lot of Harbor Bay mm -hmm. shirts. Two of them. Thirty. How much you get for those? Wow. Thirty dollars. I would have never guessed that for Harbor. Is Harbor Bay a decent brand? I don't even. Yeah, they're I size see two XL. They're size two XL. I don't know oh, if they're. Uh, they're a. Um. They're. It's a. Uh, what do you call it? I think it's a DXL brand. DXL. And so, yes. like those. Yeah. Those are like oh, you have to buy right. two. They're if you you buy they're like thirty dollars a piece, or you have to you get two for twenty. I mean, I mean, I, I mean, if you buy more than one, you get them twenty dollars a piece. So, um, right. So I lot of, I bought them out to lot them up. If that makes nice, that's a nice sale. I mean, I, I've been trying. I've been trying, man. Like that was more. That right there is, and it's going to take me two seconds to list. That's about. A little bit less than the money I, I made from my whatnot show on Sunday and my whatnot show half hour for the show and then probably two two hours to ship everything. Uh, and I made yeah. like I gross I gross seventy five dollars, which is I'm happy with. Uh, but I do I, I get to, I get so nervous and I just do sit there and just do giveaways the whole time. So then I end up doing like eighteen dollars <laughs> in giveaways for shipping. And then so then after you take fees and everything, I don't make any money. Like I don't make any money. Like, I spend, do the giveaways help? Do you think? Like, do you think? And this is the question. I know it might get people in there, but do you think the giveaways are prompting people to actually bid and buy? Uh, I had, I did four giveaways, and three of them bought something. Oh, that's time. good then. That's three of good. them did buy something. Uh, which I don't. I mean, there are people that do buy for me previously. Uh, so I don't know. I go back and forth, but sometimes, like I. If it works out, I'm happy, but it, I'm yeah, of course. I don't ever know. Well, I, I don't know what I'm doing, so I yeah. I and I don't know how to help you because I, I've struggled on you know I've had my struggles on whatnot too. So, so I I that was I have a show, um, the last Friday of the month, the Foodie Friday show I like, and I, I think I sch I scheduled one and then I canceled it and then I think I rescheduled one. But I think I'm gonna cancel it again. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't want to do. I do. I am. That, I mean, in September I'm doing a. Uh, um, I got invited to a, a t-shirt battle, uh, bracket challenge. That's that's um, put on by uh, Jen's Multiverse, Philly Flip Flipper, uh, Evolving Farmhouse, and um, Hanger Nine Hundred Nine. They they like each picked five, whatnot sellers that were. Over had they had to have over a thousand followers and a thousand sales, and then Dang. under like ten thousand, and then you're doing twenty five shirts. It's a battle. You have to like co host with the person, and then you put up a shirt and uh, it bids, and whoever the winning bid is gets to pick what shirt they want to buy. It's all graphic t shirts and stuff. Yeah. And then uh, at the end of the twenty, whoever at the after you run twenty five shirts, 
the show's over. And if whoever sells the most t-shirts gets there, they move on to the next person uh, to go up against someone. And then all everything you make in the show is split 100% down the middle with the person that you're battling against. Um, you guys should mix in rap battle too. So the shirt, t-shirt battle slash rap battle. But I don't know. Ooh, your, your your name could be like D and D, Dan and Demand. Try to, I'm like, trying to plug, I'm trying to plug my bat, rap graphic T-shirt battle. You're making. Fun you of almost me. said your rap battle. You almost <laughs> said your rap. battle. <laughs> <laughs> when is that show? When is that show? Oh, now you're interested. The it's I am. well the the whole the whole tournament lasts for September and they starts uh, September second. Oh, okay. I'm not sure what uh. I'm not sure what day I'm going yet. Um, my first opponent is uh, homeschooling mama. If you know her from whatnot, she's in my area. She lives she in my homeschooling mama. Do you is have to? Have, yeah, I know. Do her. you have to have the same t-shirt, like the same size t-shirt? Like you have to. It's like categories. I, I'm not. You're supposed to. Uh, I've watched these before. If, if, if I'm sorry, if people who are listening don't don't. It, this isn't interesting to you, but. It sounded interesting to me because, like, we split everything down the middle. So you're gonna have these. You're gonna have these bigger, like all, oh, all four of the captains, huh? Profit sharing. All four of the people. Well, I think it's a good idea. I think you yeah, can, it's I, like I want to. I'm trying to make some money. I need to make some money, Jimmy. Yeah, but I, I'm saying of, profit sharing. I'm. That's what I'm saying. Like, it's an idea. It's a. It's a technique. I'm not. Uh, that's what it would be called, right? Profit sharing. I don't know. How how many giveaways are you doing, Dan? Dude, uh, I think one or two. Okay. But they like you. I'm I'm so like I'm whoever I'm going against. Hopefully, I make it past the first round. But whoever I'm going against, like you, I mean, I can't, I can't just do a billion giveaways because I'm uncomfortable in the moment because of their, it's their money too. You know, what I'm like right. Uh, yeah. But all four of those people have big chance. Like y'all have big followings. They have big like just to watch who was picking. Like Paul, had, there was like oh, Jen, they all went live and they all went into Paul's. They all raided into Paul's uh, channel to do the pick of who was going to draw. There's like almost 100 people just watching that. Like you're going to have people that are going to. So hopefully you pick some shirts that they're going to. Out of 100 people, you're going to have some graphic shirts, t shirts people are going to want to buy. Because I'm, I'm not saying trying I got to some. Uh, I got a lot of Ford. I got a lot of Ford Mustang graphic print t shirts on Shop Commons right now. Just saying. Yeah, but you can't buy them because you're on too busy on vacation. They'll be available. They'll be back up tomorrow night. <laughs> I don't know. That's no. That, that sounds like fun and like it's you know like you add to the entertainment of that like because there's part of it that whatnot is entertainment and fun. <laughs> I lost my. He lost his earphones. Can't hear you now. We're now we can't hear him. I lost oh, my yeah. butt again. We can hear him now. It's almost time. To, can you guys even hear me? I can't hear you. I, I, did ear, both your earbuds messed up? Yeah, it, it fell out and I pushed a button on it or something. It's not working now. <laughs> Wait, you're trying to end the pod? We barely even started. We just got started, Jimmy. We barely started. It's an hour and... We, we just figured out the title. Can you guys hear me? Yeah, we yeah, just figured we out the title. I can barely hear you guys, so that'll work. We can finish it. We can finish well, it. Like I don't, this. What else you got going on? Are you come, Joe? What do you got going on? We can we can finish. Nothing much. I I I'm, I this Tyler week I podcast, beat this podcast is a train wreck. Yeah, this is going to be one of the best episodes ever watched, Dan. You're going to see. Well, this I, this week I beat the return. I didn't have any returns this week. Well, so. that's what we just talked about. Rod, Rod just told us. Yeah. Told us to stop talking. Sorry, about Rod. Rod, I'm sorry. sorry Rod, oh, I just. Man, uh, Rod. No, I mean, yeah. in the comments, let us know. Do you think this was one of the better episodes of the reseller leftovers? Is Dan just well? It's not fair about because how if, bad this honestly, if someone's listening at an hour and nine minutes into this episode, they they are like a true leftover a follower, and they're my, my Spotify is playing right now. Oh, <laughs> it's terrible. That's it. We're done. This episode's over.